Many essential workers are on the front lines of this pandemic, including grocery store employees who are putting in long hours to make sure people have what they need now that they're hunkering down at home. One of many important jobs out there and many grocery stores across the state are making changes to protect their workers and customers. Fox 12's Camilla Ortiz is live with what's being done and what union leaders say still needs to be done. Camilla? to an employee here at Zupan's on Burnside as well as the owner who told me they're actually starting to have customers bag their own groceries and discouraging reusable bags is a trend I'm seeing at other grocery stores during this pandemic. Some companies taking even more extreme measures to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Trying to maintain normalcy in a time of unknowns. Zupans on Burnside has plenty of food on its shelves, but you'll notice new social distancing signs and floor decals measuring out six feet of space. And cashiers are taking extra precautions. I wear gloves. I have to spray everything down all the time now. It's focusing a lot more on the sanitary side for me. Bagger Lisa Borst told me she's had to tell a couple customers to step back a bit. But besides that, she says she isn't too concerned about the coronavirus. Owner Mike Zupan said extra cleaning and these posted reminders go a long way. People need to uh, self-regulate themselves, but it's more just uh, kind of letting them know in, a, in a, a nice, kind way. But Dan Clay, the president of Local 555, which represents around 20,000 retail grocery workers in Oregon and southwest Washington, thinks frontline employees should get more protection. We're uh, definitely in favor of putting up the plexiglass barriers and and making sure people know how far apart they have to be. Those plexiglass barriers Clay is talking about are getting installed at checkout counters in Fred Meyer, Albertsons and Safeway stores across the country. This picture is from a Denver location. Fred Meyer sent a news release saying it is also advocating for its workers to get PPE from the government, as well as adjusting store hours to allow for cleaning and restocking. Even more important, Clay said, is advocating to get workers tests. It's really important that the folks that everybody is going to be seeing when they go to the store to get food uh, have been tested and know that they aren't uh, uh, contributing to the problem. Clay also told me that several grocery companies are paying their employees more because of the increased workload and stress. He said Safeway and Albertsons are paying an extra two bucks an hour and Fred Meyer and QFC will be giving out bonuses. Pete. Yeah, Camilla, we've heard that grocery stores are looking for more workers right now. Is that still the case? Yes, absolutely. The union president told me there's a very high need for grocery workers right now since stores are historically busy. He told me Fred Meyer, Safeway and Albertsons are all hiring right now, just to name a few.